this video we're going to cover the threading of our overlocker, um, also known as the four thread because we have four threads, um, also known as a serger, depending where you uh, come from within the industry. So the easiest way to change the thread is by knotting the old colour, which we have here as white, and we've got black as our new colour together. And we're going to pull our threads through. So I'm going to move the foot out the way by depressing this lever at the back and it just slides out of the way and we're going to lift the guard. Now I'm going to take the threads, I'm just going to snip and pull them out of the two needles you see here. Then gently pull them through. You'll see the knots travelling through our tension guides and across the top of our needles. So I'm going to cut the white thread off, but I'm not going to thread these needles just yet. So then I'm going to pull the rest of the tail of this white thread and you'll see the black thread again coming through these tension discs. It goes inside the machine and there are two large needles here that the eye is big enough for the knot of the thread to pass through. Whereas the needles we have here in the front, the knots are too small. That's why we've had to cut them off. So once we have all the black thread through, then we can thread the two needles at the top. Now, for this, it's easier if you have a pair of tweezers and we're just gripping the end of the thread and we are putting it through the eye of the needle. And then with the tweezers at the back, you can pull the thread through. Same on the other one. Make sure we just have a nice sharp end to the thread. In the tweezer. And through. And then from the back, we can just pull it through. Making sure our, the loop of thread doesn't catch on anything as we pull it through. Then we can slide the foot back across. Now that all the threads are together underneath the foot, depress the lever so it locks back into position. Now I'm going to switch this on. It's a lot, um, it's quite a considerable noise. And then we're ready to sew. Now we have to be careful with the overlocker that this actually has a blade. There's a knife inside here that cuts off the fabric as we stitch. We also have to be careful that we don't get too close. Um, also then, if you're sewing on the overlocker, you can't have any pins or anything in your work, or otherwise it will catch on the blade. So we gently depress our treadle, and then it will start to stitch. Now on an overlocker, when you come to the end of your work, you can gently Pull your work from the back, carry on stitching, and you create a chain, a little tail at the back, and then you can cut your work off, and it means it's ready then for you to start your next row. And the overlocker then neatens the work, the raw edge as we sew, and it allows your work to stretch. This is why you see it on so many t-shirts, hoodies, anything with a little bit of stretch in the net of the fabric you need your overlocker for construction. Now, if your thread breaks when you're pulling it through, you will have to learn to thread from scratch. So I'm gonna knock the machine off. And just like in other machines, if I put my foot on the treadle, it will run for a little bit longer until the energy that's stored in the motor is dissipated. So be careful of that. We don't wanna catch our foot on the treadle. So we can open up the machine to re-thread by, again, depressing our lever on our foot and moving it out the way. Now there's a little spring here at the front if we push and the side opens. And again, our door on the front, if we push this over to the right, it will slide across and come forward. So this opens up the whole of the machine. Again, this is why you need your tweezers. And you can follow your thread as you can see on this tension disc here, it's a green dot. And as we go into the machine, 
there are little green dots that you follow and there's a little map on this front door for you to follow as well. It obviously will take more time to thread than a lock stitch because you have four threads as opposed to one. But it is just as simple as following the little map and the dots to help you put it together. So then we close our door, making sure it's secure. Our side plate and then our foot back in place, making sure our guard is down and we're ready to go. Same on the lock stitch as well. If you want to move it stitch by stitch, we can turn the wheel in the direction of the arrow. And that's the threading of our overlocker. So now we'll talk about the treadles for the overlocker. Um, as you can see, we have two on the floor. Our small treadle, which is on the right, lifts our presser foot. So as we press down, our foot rises. The larger treadle is for our feet um, for the machine to go. So I'm going to switch the machine on now. So you can see as we depress the treadle, the machine goes. The harder you press, the faster the machine goes. So that's the two treadles for the overlocker.